Hey guys, anyway, um, I've had a busy few days and um, probably pushed myself to the limits, but it's okay. Um, oh, um, because I could spend a, uh, today resting until my chemo tomorrow. Feeling quite fluey and my joints are aching. My feet are absolutely really, really hurting me to walk on them. It's, it's really quite strange. Um, yeah, they feel like they're, they're puffed up like giant balloons at the moment. Uh, but I think that's probably because I've been on them a little bit too much. And I've overdone it a little bit. So... Um, but it's okay. Um, I've had a couple of emails um, asking me if I've uh, gone viral and that uh, my videos qualify to go viral, whatever that means. I'm, I'm entering a new world now. So I've applied for this viral thing, uh, which apparently can put the message out easier and quicker about my awareness um, so I've, I've kind of applied auditioned if you like uh, put one of my best videos forward um, my awareness email address and stuff and asked if I can have help to send my page viral get more views it's worth a go got no idea what it's what it's on about but <laughs> it's okay um so yeah day before my fourth lot of key man i've got quite a lot of pains in my tummy in the wall of my stomach which i've had before um, very tender and feeling very bruised. Um, my shoulders and arms, I just can't lift up. Uh, it's really quite weird because I have had a really good few days. My friend Julie came down to see me uh, from over 20 years of catch up. It was absolutely fantastic, really lifted me up. Um, So, yeah, I think because that lifted me up, um, I was able to push myself. Uh, but obviously I have crashed a little bit, but that's not your fault, Julie, and I don't want you to think it's your fault because it's not. It's just a process that I'm going through with chemotherapy. Um, so it's absolutely fine. And um, I love you dearly. Um, so, yeah. Uh, suffering a bit the day before next lot of chemo. My bloods are low, uh, so I'm going to be getting them redone again tomorrow in the morning. And hopefully, I could still go ahead with having um, my last but one lot of chemotherapy. Then I shall be over halfway there and. looking for property still because I am going to be moving back home I'm all alone in Cornwall and I'm struggling to get through these last few months but it's also made me realise how important home is and how important having good friends and family around you it really is uh, with a crisis like this because you never know when it's going to happen and I envy all my old school buddies that never moved away from from home because home really is where the heart is and I've learnt that the hard way so if you've got an urge to move just make it round the corner don't make it 300 miles away or even 100 miles away from your family because it's just, you know it really isn't worth it. And Cornwall's a lovely place to come on holiday. 
but it's a real crappy, shitty place to live. If the truth be told. But that's probably because of my experiences here. It probably could be nice about the experiences I've had, but it, it's hell. I've had hell, so... I'm going to try and see if I can get my bones and my and everything motivated to try and get up for a while. Uh, help the kids out. I can hear the kids downstairs in the kitchen. They're washing up. They're, they've had the hoover on there. I'm proud of each and every one of them. Because uh, they're just getting on and, and doing it without questioning or or anything. So I'm very, very proud of them. Um, and so which leads me on to another thing of, of trying to help um, kids who've got parents with cancer. Uh, you know, if, they, if they're not knowing what to do, um, if they're not knowing how to feel, uh, my daughter is going to be doing some uh, blogs to try and help with that because it is a big thing and it can be a big trauma for children to go through really so I'm hoping that I'm kind of tooling them and um, you know arming them with certain things to help them get through with it so yeah it'd be good to see Lizzie start it'll be on my channel and so you'll be able to have easy access to it. But it'd be good to see Lizzie try and, um, you know, do that. Uh, I think it'll help her too. Because she's quite introverted. Introverted. I'm not sure if that's the right word. But she's very, um, like, inside, within herself kind of thing. So it'd be good to to see her do something like that. But anyway, I'm um, my pains are really, really on fire right now. So I this is my blog for today, and I will blog again tomorrow. Okay, love you all. Bye.